Denver is using CARES Act money to give a lifeline to individual artists and independent venues. At a time when coronavirus is making tight budgets even tighter, Britt Marino shows us this money can bridge the gap. Romel is an abstract artist. She's been doing this professionally for about five years and knows all too well the financial ebbs and flows. Being an artist, you have to be creative about the ways you make money, for sure. She needs paint and canvases and has a studio where she works. For me, I've found that it works better just to have a dedicated space to go into work every day. All of it costs money. And while the art world has changed since coronavirus, Romel has remained busy. For me, I'm really grateful and lucky that I've been able to stay super busy. I feel like I've gotten a lot of new clients and um, projects that have seen themselves through during this time, which I think is unique. And again, I'm grateful for that. She's made sales to people who are nesting in the midst of stay at home orders and participated in a large scale mural festival that happened despite the pandemic. I was the creative director of that project. But an artist's life is always looking out for the next project, the next opportunity to pay the bills. And $1,000 can make the difference between really struggling and paying your bills on time. I'm Britt Marino, covering Colorado First. Denver Arts and Venues Department has $1 million in coronavirus relief funds. The deadline to apply is Sunday, October 25th.